The Labor Ministry announced plans to push a five-day workweek proposal with an increased overtime wage rate on one vacation day per week, along with existing benefits on another weekly designated holiday. However, neither labor groups nor businesses seemed happy with the arrangement. Labor Ministry officials explained that their draft proposal for a five-day work week would raise overtime rates on one weekly vacation day as a way of bringing down current working hours. The proposal would also preserve a designated weekly official holiday on which workers would continue to enjoy existing double overtime pay as well as a guarantee of compensated vacation time. Through our version 2.0 of the new five-day work week law, we can reach our goal of ensuring two designated holidays and two days of rest per week by decreasing the incentives for employers to send their employees to work on the weekly vacation day. Officials said that the passage of their proposal would mandate a large increase in overtime wages assessed on the weekly vacation day from the current rate of two times the normal hourly rate to a sliding rate which would rise from 2.34 on the initial two hours to 2.67 on time worked after that. However, the new draft law hasn't won many plaudits from either businesses or labor groups. Large enterprises naturally will decrease overtime hours to cope with the changes, and decreased overtime hours will cause shrinkage of production capacity. That portion of production capacity will end up being outsourced. Employers are saying they're going to withdraw from negotiations between workers and management, and the labor ministry is still taking cues from the progress of employers in these negotiations. I think that the progress in this legislation has been very irregular. After its expected approval by the cabinet on Thursday, version 2.0 of the labor ministry's five-day work week draft law will then go to the legislature, where the administration will push to pass it during the current legislative session and thereby bring a long, drawn-out series of contentious negotiations to an end.